you want to, would you want to look at some of these pictures? No, this might be a better thing for you to. I don't like it. You don't want to read this? Okay. This would be good for you maybe to look at some other time where you can just look at it. Oh, have me read it, okay? No. How about hold up? You guys want to read hold up? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And you know this was Daddy's favorite book when he was a little boy. The bold, hardy Vikings were filled with the water as they stared at the ground in Tolleston's farm. Footprints before had never caused much surprise, but footprints before never were quite this size. They shuddered and fled into their homes in dismay and hoped that the giant would stay far away. on that farm. Each one you met were, were struck by her charm. She was ever so pleasant, delightful and charming. Her manners were lovely, her smile quite disarming. Sweet little angel, you'd probably say. And she was, just so long as she got her own way. But say no to Miss Holda. You can't or not now. Or expect that the matter was settled somehow. And Holda would first of all raise such a clangor, a tantrum so filled with wild fury and anger, that only the bravest found out what came next. What she would do when she really was back. What's she doing, guys? The cow. What do you think she's doing, Leo? She's smashing her... And hands, your arms, and he smashed her feet. Yeah, she's so mad, she's slamming the ground. What do you think she's saying? She's hell. What do you think, Leo? Stupid, Leo. You think she's saying stupid? Well, stupid is not a nice thing to say, but it might be what she's saying when she's this she's mad. She's screaming. No, she's screaming. She's screaming. Then she began screaming, and that was a scream so terribly, horribly loud and extreme that even the people from five miles away all knew that Miss Holda would soon get her way. So Holda was scampering. Mine is not that loud. Oh, no. No, look at She's almost making the house fall over in the barrel, and people are falling over. You can't yell that loud. No. No. Do you oh, yell that loud, not, Leo? No. no. He's turning red. She's red. She's so mad. On this day, the day of the footprint display, Miss Holda was told she could not have her own way. So Holda, of course, began yelling and kicking. For Holda had planned to go blueberry picking. My, no. my is... Red too. Your your face is red too, Leo. Yeah. Why is your face so red, Leo? You mad? She has red everywhere. Yeah. Why is she so red? Because she's yelling so loud. She's yelling so loud. She, because she's yelling, yelling so loud. Why is she yelling so loud, guys? Because because if you knock everything down. Wait. She, and she's knocking everything down. But why is she so mad and yelling? She, because she wanted that flower. She wanted the flower and somebody said no? Well, if you ask me, I think it's a little silly. Yeah. To be throwing such a tantrum, tantrum don't you? Yeah. Daddy is gone. Daddy's gone, yeah. With a flounce of her curls and a bucket to fill, she left for the forest out over the hill. She passed the troll footprints without even a glance, 
and pity the one who would stop her advance. They couldn't hold, stop Holda, not, no, not for a minute. She marched in the woods, and then she was in it. Over rock laden paths, under towering trees, with branches that What's reached out there? to see the new there? It's hollow, Leo, that means it's empty inside. That's what happens to old trees. They can get hollow. What do you think he's saying? He tells. What do you think? Mean. It's mean. You think he's mean? He does kind of look mean, doesn't he? What do you, do you think he's saying anything? No. Okay. No. Okay. Trees don't really talk. I think they're like things are close. A Jackson chemist. How did you find the screwdriver? And it can go up here. Yeah. Can, can, Hold a trench down can, with a can. frown on her face. And finally she arrived at that blueberry place. Soon her frown was erased with a smile all serene. As she grazed at the blueberries fit for a queen. And she soon filled her bucket that fine afternoon. By choosing the plumpest while humming a tune. Contented and happy, she wasn't prepared to be suddenly terribly thoroughly scared. For Holda now faced a most that terrible guy, glare. That guy has big teeth. He does have big teeth. How a big? A surgeon, ferocious, atrocious big bear. Well, they're about as big as her fingers. So maybe if you look at your fingers. Look at your fingers. Oh, can you imagine if you had teeth that big, Quinn? Can you imagine? Nobody. No, can you imagine? Nobody if you has this big teeth. No, but maybe bears do. You think bears have that big of teeth? No, I do. You do, Leo. Your teeth are that big. My teeth that big than that bear. Yeah, the bear has teeth. Well, hold a jump four or five feet in the air, and her blueberries scattered about everywhere. But a change in direction spoiled the bear's plans. He was seized by a pair of enormous sized hands. A huge mountain troll with long shaggy hair lifted and held that fierce snarl in bear. When Holda dared again peek at the world from the blueberry patch where she lay tightly curled, she looked up and saw two disapproving troll eyes, and oh how she wished they were not quite that size. But the thought of her blueberries, juicy and sweet, made her so reckless she jumped to her feet. When she reached for her bucket and swung it around, hitting the troll in the midst of his frown. His hair is in his eyes. It is in his eyes. He needs a haircut, I think. And maybe brush. Look at all the dreadlocks in his hair. The troll was astonished. This just wasn't fair. So he ran away crying and, and, along and, with the... And he doesn't, he doesn't get his... He, he doesn't get his... His hair... His dad off. Mm -hmm. He didn't got hair cut. No, he didn't get his hair cut. Look at it, and there's like trees and dreadlocks in it. <gasps> but what did Holda do, guys? It's hitting. No, what's that nice of her to hit the troll in the face? No. Well, I'm not so sure about this, Miss Holda. Let's see what happens. What Holda had done wasn't brave. It was mean. For under the troll's shaggy hair she had seen, that that giant, though bigger, was younger than she. He was possibly bare. Well, maybe just three. So hold it again without further delay. Began blueberry picking and having her way. But the look on her rude face remained stubborn and grim. Till she filled her bucket up once more to the brim. Then pausing to rest on the rock oh, before... Done. It's spilling, Leo. It's spilling all over me. Yeah, me now. It's spilling all over me. Here, let me just get it right there, okay? Did you get it waked up, Leo? 
Is it all in the bed? Or did you throw on you, Leah? There's one more. Uh, There's only one. What's only one? One of these. The, the, yeah, okay. Um, then pausing to rest on a rock before leaving, she heard once again the troll sobbing and grieving. Before she could move from her perch on the rock, the rock began moving, and that was a shock. Then into the clearing with one final bump, followed where's, by one... Where's her bucket? Uh, where? You look for it. Do you see it? Do you see it? Where is it? Okay, well, where is it in this picture? Yeah. Good, yeah, it's hidden in the bushes, the blueberry bushes. Step that giant troll toddler now smiling with glee. He was back again with his giant troll mother, you see. Oh, look at his mama. She's big. She is super duper big. And I don't think she's happy with Holda. What do you guys think? She's going to yell at her. I think so. Holda was just about scared half to death. But taking an extra big special deep breath, she screamed her most ear-splitting, fine chillin' scream, the kind that could ripple a far distant stream. Look at her. <gasps> Holding near his tight in pain and dismay, the trolls felt that Holda should have her own way. Stumbling and crashing the two trolls deep She's screaming so loud she's not only turned herself red, she's turning the troll toddler red too. Look at the bear running off. Her bucket was empty, though filled twice before. She hurriedly started to fill it once more. The next time this he happens, he didn't got his bucket. Yeah, we don't know where it is here. She said, right it's over in this picture, it's right here, you can see it. The I see it. Yes, you do. The next time this happens, she solemnly vowed, I'll break my own record for screaming out loud. Just one final day would <laughs> now fill her What's your record? <laughs> a record, she looks silly. Why is that so silly, Leo? That one. Because she's so mad. Because she's so mad. Um, the world began yeah, bouncing. It's sticking up. It's sticking all over the place. And her blueberries sprinkled all over the place. But then the sky became dark and the earth shook with thunder. And Holda saw something that frightened and stunned her. What do you think she saw? Let's what? see. What do you, oh my goodness! Who's that? The cow's dad. Yep, that's the troll daddy. It's super crazy. Look at him. Can you imagine if daddy was that big? He's bigger than the trees. My goodness. The mountain troll father, majestic Titanic. The one who, like Holda, could always cause panic. Loomed over the treetops and finally found the mean little girl with that horrible sound. He shook his huge finger at Holda, you see, and pointed exactly to where she should sleep. Well, Holda was terrified. Yes, that was true. But Holda knew very well just what to do. What do you think she's going to do? Yeah. Oh. <gasps> she screamed and she screamed till she turned brilliant blue. The world's greatest tantrum. The but best not she green. could do. But not green. Blue. And it would have continued except for one thing. It just green is a little louder. Mm -hmm. For It's green the loudest. It just didn't. Oh, he had a few shivers and it curled his hair. And his red and green eyes did widen and stare. 
His jaw fell a, little, fell a little, but still on the whole, it was a very he remarkable. He blue eyes. Mm-hmm. He had blue and pink. Uh-huh. That's crazy. Blue and pink. The whole the screen ended and stopped at Dad, his Daddy. 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 That is the daddy troll. That's daddy troll. Yep. Then Hoda felt suddenly helplessly weak. The troll leaned in closer and a cautious amount. He held up three fingers and started to count. So Hoda conceded that Troll King had won. Her tantrums had were finished. Her screaming was done. He continued his counting, now grinning with glee. Hoda was gone when he got up to three. He stood there a moment, not making a sound. And then when he sure no one was around, he quickly removed from her his cavernous ears two rocks he would treasure for many long years. He guarded his secret with greatest concern, lest Holden's big scream should chance to return. But just to make sure, he prepared his size, a gift for Miss Holda of rather large size. What's he doing, guys? I think he's in the dark. He is in the dark. What's he doing? Del. What's he look like he's doing? Walking. He's walking. He knows. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, Holda's big gift was the blueberry patch. A gift no one could ever easily match. He carefully moved it. Where's the blueberries? They're in here. They're in the bushes. They're too small to see, though. You have to move the leaves to see the blueberries. He carefully moved the it. The little leaves. Mm hmm. When Holda would see a bite hunter, well, of course you can guess what that troll had in mind. Though in essence his gift was unselfish and kind, he hoped now that Miss Holda would never more roam. Now that that blue gray patch was near home. I'm covered. And what of Miss Holda? He's red. Yes, but he's not screaming. And what of Miss Holda? And how did she fare? Well, she grew and became something quite rare. A pleasant, soft-spoken lady was she, and lived very happily, as fine as can be. Now, the gift of the king of the trolls was the cue. The kindness of others the was troll kind is of really good. Yeah, the troll was really good. Repaying he's good at good at, good at stopping the yelling. Yeah, he's good at stopping the yelling. Repaying in kind what to him was a pleasure, but the goodness to others, the world's greatest treasure. And now she's a nice little girl. Because the troll was good to her. Alright, ready? How about a favorite of mommy's? You drop something? And we go back. How about we read the loudest roar? What happens in this book, Quinn? Roar. Roar, that's right. The jungle was a very peaceful place. Everyone was quiet. Everyone was calm. Well, nearly everyone. What's gonna happen? Sticking up. Yeah. What do you see sticking out, Leo? Who do you see? Who do you see the tail? Do you see the tail? What kind of animal, Quinn? A tiger. Leo, do you see the tiger tail sticking out? No. Look, look for the tiger tail. Can put it tiger tail. Couldn't show the other tiger tail. Ah, oh, there it is. Clovis was a tiger. Even though he was the fiercest, even though he was small, he knew he was the fiercest, most roaring tiger in the whole world. And Clovis thought that everyone else should know it too. 
One day he found some parrots chatting politely as they were picking 